electric motor, synthetic rigging, classic sailboat, no electronics, crossing the Atlantic Ocean. Going where the fair winds blow, our home is where the waters flow. We'll show you what we've come to know on board while sailing wisdom. Now that's a pretty sunrise. Oh, we had such a peaceful night last night. The winds were just steady and gentle. We just had our full jib and our trysail going, just carrying us downwind. Ah, oh, the seas have just calmed down so much. That there's no white caps right now. And we are about 380-ish miles away from the coast. Ah, or from our turning point. So we're gonna get close to the coast of Brazil, kind of the border of Brazil and French Guiana. And then once we're close to the coast there, then we're gonna turn up towards Suriname because there's a really, really strong current that flows along the coast of Guiana, French Guiana, Suriname, all that area. And apparently it's not too bad near Brazil. So we're gonna start down there. That way we have an entire country of French Guiana to sail past to not miss our river in Suriname. Now we're heading towards, uh, well, that, which doesn't look too pretty, but hey, I mean, the clouds move pretty fast, so hopefully it'll go away before we get there. And then hopefully that clear space behind this is gonna come our way. So if we look at the clouds over here, they're all going this way, and the clouds over here, they are going that way. So hopefully that means that the weather's just like going like this around us and we get that nice clear patch behind us. It has some sunny blue skies in it. So I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm just in total bliss right now. It's just such a gorgeous, ah, it's everything is beautiful. strange day because it was election day yesterday uh, but we didn't learn anything and so today probably we'll hear the news of whether or not we have we are we'll be coming home to a new president um, it's really strange to be out here because we're kind of getting updates via satellite phone from family and friends but there's no way for us to follow anything other than that, which is honestly really nice. Last night we just laid under the stars and when you're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean lying under a giant field of stars, it just puts things into perspective and suddenly the election didn't seem as important in the grand scheme of things. It's a big world and we have a lot of time on this planet. So anyway, now it's time to make French toast. to this for a long time. Oop, no, it's not quite. I think today is the perfect day. Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh it's good. Oh yeah. Hmm. It's a lovely day. Just overcast enough that the sun isn't beating down and everything has just slowed down, which is so nice. We've got calm seas, calm winds, but we're still moving at a good pace. It's a great day to sit in the cockpit and read Walden by Henry Thoreau. 
So everything's going really well, except our batteries are dead again. I don't know why, except I do know why it's the fridge, but I didn't think they'd die that fast. So that sucks. So we're gonna start turning the fridge off at night and that's about all we can really do because otherwise the batteries get so low that the fridge actually shuts itself off to protect itself because it has such low voltage. Electricity kind of sucks for us right now, but our water situation is doing great. So we have used about somewhere between 45 and 60 gallons. So we have four tanks in the salon, which are 15 gallons each, and we are in the fourth of those tanks. Then we have 100 gallons and four more tanks up in the V-Bird that are still sitting there. We've gone crap ton of days, close to 1800 miles, and still have 100 gallons of water left over, which is why we don't need a water maker at all, because we have plenty of water. filming some stuff under the boat and then I was looking at the footage and I noticed a fish and I want to eat it. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a big fish. It looks like either a wahoo or a tuna or something. So we got a line in the water and he's not biting. <laughs> not but, at all. I, but I want him <laughs> in my belly. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at our weather here. It's calm. Quite. We, yeah. one could even say we are be calmed. <laughs> the forecast based on the clouds way over there and over there and over there and way over there say that wind is coming eventually. But for right now where we are, there's no wind. So we're gonna get some more sails up. Okay, really light winds, as you can tell. So I got the main with the preventer to like, just keep it over there, full jib, and I got the trisel down. A little issue with the trisel. So the sail slides look like this. Normally they're on there, and they go up and down and everything's great. A couple of them up here are bent sideways and can't get past that cleat and they're stuck. And I have the joy of fixing that. <laughs> so, so far, one of them got stuck while we're in the med and I couldn't get the sail down. And I actually climbed up on our mast in the med in a storm and unscrewed it 
and took it off and got the sail down. And then the other one did the same thing where it got stuck sideways. So far I've replaced two of them with this, Dyneema. And those never give me problems. So I'm, it's just a lot of work to switch them all to Dyneema, but I'm really thinking it's gonna be the case. If you're wondering, how do we get our trisole up so quickly? Where do we keep it when it's not in use? Well, it has its own track, it has its own halyard. Keep it right here in front of the mast. So the little dinghy crate, it just like wedges in here. You just stuff it in. It's already got its sheets tied. Crap happens, we swing the boom over to the, to the port side of the boat, get it up, done. And the reason to swing the boom to the port side is to get the lazy jacks out of the way. Cause I've, I've tried all these different things to like get the lazy jacks out of the way. And the easiest way is to just move the whole system away. Gone, that's why like for like, I don't know, weeks, the boom's been out on the port side with no sail up and the trisail flying. It's just to get the sucker out of the way. Days like today, even though there's no wind, we're not moving, nothing's going on, are still my favorite days at sea. It's just so peaceful and so beautiful. And just like, just look, and as far as the eye can see, it's just ocean that just goes forever. And just these beautiful cloud formations in the distance. And I love looking at clouds. I just think that, you know, they tell a story and they give so much information. But aside from that, they're just beautiful. They're just these giant fluffy white things that just, I, I love clouds. I think they're awesome. So just sitting out here and just staring at this like vast sky of so many different clouds right now on this like super calm day is just bliss. Like that one behind us, it's going that way. It's got rain. It's a bit of a storm over there. That big one that's growing right there, it's just so beautiful and just like blooming into the sky. The winds are back and we're going five knots due south. Not the way we want to go. Let's just get everything trimmed and ready. we go on a broad reach not beam reach oh yeah our rod the real broke so now we're using a stick <laughs> oh and uh that big fish that was hanging out under the boat never bit huh, still going south babe ah. yeah i'm gonna hand steer get our course all right and we might need to jive Huh. Looking at our actual course. Oh, yes, please. What's our course over ground? Uh, it's pretty south. What? It's pretty south. Yeah, our, our heading was 180. Yeah, I got a jive. Okay, I got released the preventer. See what I can do. Here we go. 250. 240. All right. Okay. Just got the sail up. Just got jibed. Just got everything set. And then the wind just changed again. It, it's gotten horrible. And at times the main actually gets backed. So I'm going to drop the main, put up the trisole again, and we'll be jib and trisail again to just go downwind because the the issue is the wind is like directly behind us but alternating if it's from the southeast or northeast slightly and and we're going pretty much that exact opposite direction like we're going west so if it changes one or the other we have to jibe and we're back boom tied on the windward side trisail and jib again ah. So the rains are coming, so we're just gonna duck inside. It might bring wind, which would push us. That'd be nice, but we'll find out. Okay, no winds yet. Wendy is set so that when the winds come, the boat will turn and head west. Right now we're going southeast. <laughs> yeah. All right, whatever. I mean, we're doing. 
1.6 knots. So it's not like we're going crazy fast. And honestly, that's probably more current than anything because this area has a southerly current that we have to get through and then get closer to shore and then catch the current that rides along the coast north. Rain has passed, winds are here. We're going like three knots due south. Time to fix that. Oh, the sunset, babe. Yeah? Oh, yes. Holy crap, the storm ahead of us. Wow. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just six, it's not too bad. Herbie's been working hard to keep us on course and it's been a pretty okay day. Just kind of slow and easy. And I was able to sit inside and make an episode, so that's good for us and for you. <laughs> Um, but now it's sunset and it's time to think about dinner. Chili? For dinner? Nope. No? Your tum tum's not happy? My tum tum is not happy. Soup? We got yeah. lentil soup? Yeah, we could do soup. Okay. That would be simple and easy and good on my stomach. Yes, and only one pot to clean. <laughs> that way looks horrible. I don't want to go that way. Uh, so we're going to go that way because that looks prettier. All right. Is that way the right direction? It's pretty good. It's west. All right. Like somewhat south of west, which is good. But more importantly, no storms. Like that just looks hard. I don't want to go that way. Whoa. <laughs> okay, we have the following options. Yes. Uh, steak and potato chunky. Yes. Lentil. Lentil veggie. Yes, that one's also very good. And chunky vegetable. Well, I can tell you if your stomach's not feeling great, the lentil's the blandest. Okay. But those chunky ones, I used to eat those in college. And they're <laughs> so good. Put on course for that little uh, shelf that I want. Okay. Oh, this looks gross. But the lentil? Yeah. So if you're wondering, why on earth do we fly our trisole in super light winds? It's because when we're going downwind, the sail never goes beyond the beam of the boat. So it's never hanging off far. So all the force of the sail is over the boat, pushing us downwind, or pushing us forward, which is downwind for our case. And then the big head sail gets lots of wind because the trisole doesn't steal any. If we use the main, no matter how much we reef it, it's still hanging really far off the side of the boat. And it's this big lever arm trying to turn us up wind. So that's why, in case you were wondering. <laughs> I gotta put in the thing. Uh -huh. I'll, take I'll take yours too. I'll take yours. If everyone has less, you can put my spoon in. I think I, I, think I it's got fine. it. It's fine. Yeah, you, you're good. How's the soup with your sunset? Sunset's directly Sunset's behind gone. you. No, it's shedding. It's, it's in... uh, soup is alright. <laughs> uh, does it need salt? Uh, yeah, but I'm not gonna add it. Want me to go get salt for you? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Buen provecho. Salt is bad for you. Okay. Our house batteries are dead again, even though we charged them up full charge yesterday. And we can't figure out why. And then we thought, what Maddie suggested, what if one of the batteries is dead and just sucking the power away? So then I just switched them. So this is battery two, these are the lights. And this is battery one. And back to battery two. So battery one has eight point something volts. It's dead. Battery 2 has been dying trying to keep that sucker fed because it's just chugging the amps away. So hopefully now that we have, you know, we're just going to stay on battery 2 and just we'll replace battery 1 when we get the Surinam probably. Uh, but it's, yeah, something so simple as just a dead battery sucking the life out of the rest. So every morning 
just the job of returning them to the sea. Back and forth, back and forth, and when we do move, we go north! Ah! Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Rigging Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.